okay uh, morning once again to all of you today uh, today's tutorial is going to be about uh, state table uh, reduction so we'll see few problems on state table reduction okay the first question is uh, a sequential circuit has one flip flop q which is shown here okay it's uh, there are two inputs x and y these are the two inputs which are coming and one output s okay this is the s uh, it consists of a full adder circuit connected to a D flip flop. So this combinational logic uh, which is shown here is a full adder which is shown as FA and and then the carry is given to the D flip flop and you have a clock coming here right and Q is also given as a carry into the full adder. Okay, so this is the circuit we need to make the state table okay and state diagram of this sequential circuit. Okay, so this is the question. So let's see uh, how to go about it. Okay, so uh, this is the full adder equation. Okay, there are three inputs: you know, uh, uh, x, y, and q. Uh, here, c in is q. Okay, from the previous state. So you have s is equal to uh, 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 x, x or y, x or q, or we could, uh, and then the carry is. Like this is a sim simple full adder equation, right? And the carry is uh, x y and x q, uh, uh, x y or x q or y q. Okay, so if there are two ones, then it will generate a, a carry. So that carry is being given to the D flip flop out here, right? So the input equation to the uh, D flip flop is the same. It, it, it since the carry is coming here. So you have from the previous state itself q. So you have x y or x q or x uh, y q. So this is the uh, previous q is the previous one. So this is coming to the uh, d. So the carry is being fed to the d. So now what is going to be the uh, uh, q out? That is going to be the same. The carry q t plus one is going to be the carry from the previous operation. So whatever was the q in the previous operation plus x y what is the new input so all these three together if they generate a carry then that carry will be loaded into this d okay so so that is how the characteristics equation is written so it, it is pretty simple there is nothing much to worry about it okay now we write the uh, state table so if it is if the previous state is carry so uh, we put all all zeros in the uh, Q state and then you have X inputs X 0 0 coming so there will be no carry generated and there will be no sum generated so this becomes for the next state 0 0 and then previously there is no carry again here and X is equal to 0 Y is equal to 1 obviously then the sum will be 1 and then a Q in the, in the flip flop since the care there is no carry being generated so Q next state in the flip flop also continues to remain 0 for 0 and 1 0 also the sum will be 1 but the next state uh, since there is no carry generated it continues to remain 0 whereas for the uh, fourth condition initially this flip flop state is 0 now you have 1 1 coming in so that will generate a carry so that carry will be fed into the flip flop as in the next state so you have 1 here and 1 1 will not generate a sum so the output is, is, is s is equal to 0 out here now oh, once this flip flop state is 1 and then if you have 0 0 coming in here then there is no carry being generated so the next state will again go back to 0 and the sum will be one here and you have uh, this is already there is a carry here this for this condition flip flop if the state is one and you have zero one coming in here then there will be a carry generated so in the next state again the flip flop will be one and there will be no sum similarly for uh, this condition and in the last condition where you have uh, already there is a one in the flip flop and and both x and y are coming here one 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 so it will all generate a carry and it will also generate an someone so this is how you make a uh, state uh, table anybody has got any doubt with how to make this state table is it clear to all of you can somebody say yes or no so that i know we are in sync yes sir okay so uh, from that state table we make the uh, state chart so initially we are there are two uh, states for the flip-flop 
sir so after the la last step we will be stuck no why should we be stuck it if the if the next input is going to come zero zero right uh, so it, it it will change the state again okay it depends on the next input okay so uh, this is a, a state diagram where in, uh, it, it, the same table is in a, uh, transformed into a state diagram where you have a two states of the flip flop zero and one and these are the input combinations and these are the outputs okay input combination is if if it is zero zero it continues to remain in this state if it is one zero also it continues to be because and it will change the state only if a carry is generated so for these three combinations carry will not be generated it's zero here so so carry will not be generated these outputs are indicating the uh, sum right so whenever there is a sum output this output this is indicated as one so but whenever we are receiving one one here carry will be generated so that will change the state to one and again after having changed to one for for these combinations since the carry will be generated for zero one it's because it's already in one so carry will be generated so it will continue to remain in one for these three conditions right only sum will go to one whenever there is one one because three ones will generate a sum out here right all otherwise two ones one this and one of the input ones will generate a sum zero so but if you get a zero out here okay for for a one state right it will go back to zero because there is no carry generated now here so it will go back to uh, zero state here whereas the output because zero zero and uh, one and zero zero the sum will be one so this output is indicated here as one here so is this problem clear to all of you is there any doubts whatsoever you can ask me okay. excuse me sir yeah tell me sir uh, in this circuit design we have to ensure that at least once the clock is given between two successive inputs for x and y right or else the value won't be updated in the flip flop yeah uh, these are all uh, this change triggered by the clock only so with, without the clock uh, nothing would happen so x and y are also triggered by the clock only uh no uh with x and y uh what happen what would happen is yeah it has to be synchronized otherwise uh, if if x and y are not synchronized with the uh, uh, clock uh, there will be change in sum okay so uh, this is kind of there are two kinds of machines right okay one one kind of machine in which uh, we are, uh, i think the more machine in which the the output would change if the input it is not synchronized so uh, you can assume this is an you know, so there will be some uh, these kind of machines are generally not used you know where the output is going to uh, change with respect to x and y so this is just an example this is the difference between a moore machine and a mealy machine where the here the sum is going to change is uh, if the, uh, the moment the new input is coming the sum will immediately change yes understood so basically we need to have the clock occurring between intermediate inputs of x and y for it to function normally uh yeah yeah correct yes sir. understood sir. thank you okay so uh, this is the next uh, type of question reduce the number of states in the following table so once we make the state table like we have used uh, uh, k maps and qm method for optimization uh, of combinational logic similarly we have this kind of uh, table if when we see this is again equivalent to a k map where visually we see it and we try to reduce the function so uh, this is the table we need to reduce it we have to see that if we can optimize some flip flops otherwise it, it takes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 we will require three flip flops and then uh, some hardware is required so can we reduce it so uh, visually if you see the first and foremost conditions condition to be met for you know simplification is the output stages of two Uh, states have to be equal only then we can think of any optimization so this is 0 0 0 0 0 here so there are uh, three zeros here so yeah somebody 
uh, yes i said d and h can be uh, they they are absolutely same okay so we can do that is there any other combination anybody else can you see which is which we can yeah yeah b and e dc 0 0 and e so these states we can uh, clearly and uh, yeah so we can clearly these two states are there so b e and d h so we can just uh, remove those two and corresponding in the table also we have to avoid all those variables also right so, so like in this case what uh, uh, we are going to uh, substitute b with e so wherever there is an e here this also requires to be substituted by b right both you have to do not only you got to remove this uh, row of e but also wherever here like here there is an e we need to replace it with b right so we need to do that both these actions so once we do that so this has read now it has uh, reduced to two uh, no, this after this uh, still is there anything possible you'll have to see see uh, after doing that there might more possibilities might uh, come up yeah yeah rahul says ki a and c can be again uh, done a and c are exactly the same right so we are going to change now a and c also right so this so now it is one two three four five uh, uh, how many flip-flops are uh, is required now can we do anything else now i don't think i think we are now already optimized but yeah so now uh, again one two three four five still it will require uh, three flip-flops but then uh, the other hardware the combinational hardware what we required is very very less so uh, from here we can make another uh, if you want to make a state chart you can make a state chart it will be much simplified version okay so is this uh, type of problems uh, clear to you it's pretty simple right so you will if it is given in the exam also i guess uh, you should be able to get full marks for these kind of questions okay yeah okay so uh, the next uh, type of questions which are which is our next technique which we are going to learn is implication table right so this is like qm method right here uh, there is no visual clue the com computer will be able to compute using this uh, method it, it is very similar to qm method so these are the uh, state diagrams next state and output if you see uh, visually uh, no, there may not be anything which is common okay here zero zero i don't think anything visually but still there is a scope for doing it right so that is so we make an uh, implication table here if you see g is left out here a b c d e f and here we, we a is left out and we start from b c d e f uh, g right now we have to uh, take one each from here from here yeah yeah so, sai today is in a super fast i guess so uh, i already had breakfast i guess in the morning itself okay good so we are going to have uh, a a and b right so if you see uh, for a and b right so it is an uh, conditional s right conditional s means see first we have to see if the outputs are matching right between a and b each element you'll have to see between a and b if the elements are matching and if these are not matching that means we put a conditional tick here conditional tick means if a and a are already here same d and e are different so we we write d and e that means if d and e are e are uh, going to be equivalent then we can club a and b okay so this is a conditional statement that okay we put a tick here and we put a impose a condition that if d and e are equal is this thing clear to you then i move forward once one cell is very absolutely clear then rest of the things will become very clear is it okay with all of you okay now taking the uh, next cell next cell is between uh, yeah yeah okay okay anand see uh, we are trying to see if can we combine a and b 
okay into in, uh, can we merge these two rows okay a and b see the uh, uh, so for first and foremost condition is the output is the outputs matching from here yeah it's matching is the inputs uh, these conditions matching no a a are matching d and e are not they are different right so so we write here if d and e are equivalent then we can merge a and b so we are leaving it as an uh, open condition if if this condition meets then we will use this subsequently so we have written it as an conditional statement here is it okay akshay okay okay now what about a and c a and c so if the outputs are not matching so we straight away put because you know uh, whatever the input combination if if they are going to move you know, in different directions in the output then straight away we put an x similarly a and d a and d the outputs are not matching it is 0 0 1 0 so we straight away put an x here for e also a and e a and e the outputs are not matching we put an x what about a and f a and f okay both are zero zero the outputs are matching right so we are going to put an uh, conditional thing there okay what is the uh, conditional thing c and d have to be matching because if you see it is a here it is uh, uh, it is c here and d here so c and d has to be matched and a and b here it is a it is b so both these conditions have to be met for merging a and f so we have put both these conditions out here is it okay to all of you anybody has got any doubt till here no then we move forward now we come to uh, b now we are going to compare uh, b and c so uh, B and C so the outputs are not matching so we put straight away put here cross here B and D B and D also the outputs are not matching we put a cross here B and E B is this and E is this outputs are not matching we put a B and F B and F it is 0 0 and F ok the outputs are matching but it is E and C here and A and B here C E A B we put those two conditions out here C c is 0 1 if you see uh, the outputs are not matching with anybody so straight away we put all cross here then we take d what about uh, d and e d and e you see everything is matching out here right when the outputs are matching a d a d so we put a non-conditional tick here there is no condition for sure we can merge d and e so we have put a uh, tick out here d and f okay uh, okay we put a cross and then uh, d and g between d and g it is a e d e uh, there is a change here the outputs are matching so we put d e out here right and between uh, e and f also we are going to put uh, x here because the outputs are not matching and then between D, E and G, E and G, it is A, A, D, E is the only change. So, we put a conditional here. So, uh, uh, till here, is it clear to all of you? Anybody has got any doubt? No? Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, so, uh, in the next step out here, what we are going to do is, right we are going to uh, uh, check if, if these conditions can be met or not or is there any problem with this okay now if you see uh, between a and c the outputs they don't match at all that's why we have put a cross here right between a and c the outputs don't match so we have to see if a and c combination has it been made anywhere as a conditional statement if it is being made then we go to remove there so this is c d c d c e a b d e d e so it's fine that is not being made anywhere okay what about a and d has any combination been made between a and d because that is not possible at all so we check all these elements it's not there a and e has there any uh, combinations been made it's not made so we leave it that that 
then uh, a and g it's a cross here so we don't have any combinations now similarly we check for b we see uh, b and c it's not possible out here we have put a cross out here right so b c combination cannot be done b d combination also uh, is not possible b e combination is also uh, not possible in any case right so b g we have not used it. now coming to uh, c d right this c d combination is not possible you can't combine c and d right so what we are going to do is we have to check for c d oh there is a c d out here so that means uh, this particular combination is not possible so we put a cross here okay so this cell also goes so that combination between a and f you can't combine a and f because there is a condition for a and f that c d should be equivalent and we can see that c d the outputs are not same so obviously this cell cannot be used at all so we go next we uh, we have completed with uh, uh, c okay and 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 c e is also not possible so we have used the c e here so this is also not possible so that is the reason why b and f also cannot be uh, combined out here so so now what is the uh, so these cells are not possible right so now we can d e can obviously be uh, merged right because we have seen that d e they can be merged so this condition can be merged so if this condition uh, is possible then obviously a and b can be merged so we can remove b from here right similarly this d e is possible we have seen that d e is possible we have put a tick here unconditioned so d e so we can remove e right if you remove e we can remove e also and then uh, this is e and g right so d has replaced e or uh, already replaced e but this d e so g, between g and d also g can be removed so g is also removed so e g and b have been removed in this table is it okay with all of you how we have come to this table is the simplification clear to all of you anybody has got any doubt can you just can somebody speak up? okay okay so uh, i think these were the three problems for uh, today's uh, tutorial if there is any doubt you can ask me now excuse me sir yeah tell me so uh, like while writing the rows we uh, left out a and while writing the columns we left out g Correct. so is is there any like specific reason why we are doing that no uh, we just have to uh, uh, pair all combinations so if we are writing a out here right in the column a a we don't want to compare a a we need to compare a with the rest of the elements so we have put an b b b b here right so uh, similarly uh, if you put the last out here uh, g also right you, you can put that it will uh, it will generate one more box here and one more box here that will be a a we are trying to replace a with a doesn't make any sense right if you put one more column here g right that will be g comparing it with g only it, it, it is the same understood sir trying to yes i'll become that. redundant ah, it will become redundant okay that yes, is why sir. we are not using the those two columns thank you sir yeah anybody else has got any doubt no so okay so uh, thank you for attending and we'll see uh, in the theory sir. yeah tell me Sir, last week uh, I sent you a mail about uh, research uh, 